Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, lighting effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, sometimes you want to create some kind of a moody effect or maybe highlight a specific part of a video. And in, in color grading in feature films, this is done all the time. They call it power windows. This is kind of using that same technique, except it's a heck of a lot easier because all the controls for the real lights are built right into Premiere Pro. Let's go have a look. All right. Here's some footage shot by my buddy Dave Helmley in Annapolis, Maryland of the Alex Haley um, memorial and you can see I've cut between a few and you may or may not notice what I've done but if I turn the effects off and on I've added that lighting effect and you can see I've brightened up that area same thing over here I'll turn that off turn that on and the opening one this one was definitely a little bit more heavy-handed but you can see how I'm highlighting that area. So how do we add this? Well, let's go over here and use this guy. Let me clear this out. Go to your effects panel and um, search for lighting effects. Double click on that with the selected clip. And by default, it comes in as a spotlight. And there's a lot of different settings inside here. I'm gonna concentrate on light number one. You can add up to five different lights. There's an overall light color, an ambient intensity, and when you turn the ambient intensity down to minus 10, you get rid of absolutely everything. So think of, of the ambient intensity as being light other than the spotlight. So ambient simply means this is the overall light and then there's a spotlight. So even though we're only using one light, uh, there are actually two lights. And it makes sense for in most cases to leave the overall ambient light you know, at an, an even number here, it's 20%. Surface gloss and material and, and bump maps and stuff like that, that that's to give you, um, you know, 3D type of surface textures where, you know, you're get, having a fake extrude on something. We don't want to do any of that. We're just using it for lighting effect. So pretty much leave all of this alone. Uh, we might go to ambient intensity um, if we have to. So if we open up light one, we have, several choices by default it's a spotlight and you can see over here the, the virtual spotlight is here shining that way a directional light an omnidirectional light which shines from everywhere but we're going to concentrate on the spotlight let's go through different settings you can change the position of the light either by changing these xy coordinates or if i click on this button right here i can move the light freely right inside I can also change the overall position of the light and you can see the top and the bottom move. And I can move the outside area too and how far that light falls off. And overall the intensity here is, is definitely too much. So you can see there's an intensity slider and I can move that up and down. I can also change what is labeled here as focus and that's the fall off distance between the light and the edge itself with a focus uh, a, a smaller focus you're going to get a very sharp edge on that a very fake look but if we turn that down um, to about um, well, minus two we just have the light and we don't really see its effect down in here so if we change the overall major radius up a bit and change this second radius in here. Now go back to our intensity and, and you know, it's just a matter of going back and forth in between uh, each of these. I find these controls to be a little bit unruly sometimes. You can see what it does. Oy, it, it can make a total mess of, of your light. So um, I like to position these where I want first and then start to highlight and go back and turn this on and off and uh, set this up. So if we go back and change the overall ambience, then we'll start to brighten up the whole scene. Make sure we don't blow that out. Go back, turn that on, turn that off to see how we're focusing inside there. So 
some cool little effects. Um, I really like this. I think that um, it has its place. I wouldn't use this in every video, but for these moody kind of effects, perfect. You could shut the ambient light off and just have the, let me just show you that, that that's pretty cool. If we uh, take the ambient intensity down and just have the uh, spotlight intensity showing up, you can actually just have that, that spotlight look as if it's, it's turning everything on. And you can see if you're pushing it too far, sometimes you can get the, a, uh, a posterized effect. So be careful how you mess around with this stuff, but uh, you can make some pretty cool, uh, interesting, spooky effects too. Uh, but just make sure the intensity is, is not up too much. All right. So hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.